let us look at automation available in the repetitive nerve stimulation program. We have already started the test. We are going to study the left abductor pollicis bravis muscle and the system is in stim setup mode. I will increase the intensity gradually to reach the supra maximum level. The response did not change, so this is maximal intensity, increasing it further to reach supra maximum level. I will now start the repetitive stim modality. The stimulus frequency is 3 hertz or 3 pulses per second. I'm going to deliver the baseline train of 10 stimuli. Push the recurrent stimulation button. We have an excellent baseline study. I'm going to save it by pushing the next site button. Having performed the baseline study, we asked the patient to exercise the tested muscle and then deliver several trains of stimuli at predefined times. For example, immediately after exercise, 30 seconds after exercise, a minute after exercise, and so on. To deliver these stimuli in automatic manner, I'm going to initiate the continuous sequencing. I will have the patient contract the muscle and we can listen to the EMG activity by unmuting the audio. Let's say the necessary exercise is done. Relax and deliver a train of stimuli. You will notice two clocks. One is counting up. That's indicating the time since exercise. The second clock is counting down and that is telling us the time to the next stimulation. At five seconds, we will get a warning. Traces are saved. And we have another train of stimuli. It's going to count down for another 30 seconds. So that will be a total of one minute after exercise. And the system will stimulate automatically. As before, we'll get a warning at five seconds. And the process will continue as programmed in the system. Automation makes it very easy and comfortable to perform repetitive nerve stimulation post-exercise.